Okay, it's time to make the jump. It's no time like the present. I looked over at Chizuku, who was asleep sideways on my bed, and smiled. This could be what saves her. Saves me. Saves everyone. Without hesitation, I pressed the pocket watch buttons. I woke up feeling quite nauseous and blinded by a bright light. My skin was basked in a warm light. A laser? Was I being attacked? Hey, he's awake! Huh? <laughs> Can't see, right? It's the sunlight, I think. Hurry up, Shizuka! Get back over here! Beatrix is ready to serve! So, while everyone's probably distracted by the swimsuits... I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. If that's supposed to be like one of the Kickstarter backers or what. He'll be fine. Get your butt over here. I still couldn't quite discern what was happening. It took a minute for my eyes to make out anything but vague silhouettes. I fell for the watch. It was still in my pocket, but something was now seriously wrong. All the lights were now violently flashing both red and green. What could it mean? I looked up to see what the crew were doing, and what I saw in front of me was... unexpected. Captain? I am a bit busy. Are you guys playing beach volleyball? What does it look like, sailor? But how? Where are we? That is unknown. Wait, how's I outside the ship? Wait, where is the ship? I looked around and couldn't see the ship, or a shuttle, or a building. How's I touching the ball? Are you using a head for the ball? What's happening here? Last log entry. Sunday, 4.11 a.m. Captain Kimiko Yukimori. Morse Winsit Omnia. Death conquers all. We didn't avoid the black hole? That is unknown. Are we all dead? That is unknown. Who cares, sailor? Let's just enjoy ourselves while it lasts. And that is just what I did. Forever. So if we go to the timeline real quick... <laughs> That's interesting. 